Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I've decided to do a bonus for the 20th. Just because, just because, I don't know why. Just because I need a little bit more information. <laughs> so I, instead of just doing it for me, I figured I'd do it for everybody. We'll see if it resonates with you. It does. If it doesn't, then hey, it wasn't for you. We're going to use this deck right here, and we're just going to see what comes up. We're just going to see what comes up. The thinking woman, well, hmm, it's funny, I, I need more information. You may need some more information as well, you know, and it's about this next chapter, right? She's trying to, somebody's trying to decide, you know, what I do. Do I close this book or do I open a new book or do I, you know, what's, what's next? What's next? 47, imagine that. So this is equals 11. Right, your thoughts become things. So we have a woman that is is doing a lot of thinking. She may not be aware, aware, <laughs> but her thoughts do become things. Okay, it doesn't say thinking man. It says thinking woman. Okay, so we have a woman here that is thinking about what's next. She may be thinking about what she just read. She may have read something and now you know it's it's made her something. Um, it sparked a memory or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, yin and yang. Now, we all know yin and yang. This is uh, 22 equals a 4. Uh, this is about partnership. She may be thinking about her future partner. She may be thinking about her past partner. She may be thinking about, you know, what it, what is what is my perfect match? Maybe she's waiting for her perfect match. Now this is this is something. I mean, the yin and the yang. This is something. You know, this is the feminine and the masculine. This is opposites that come together to make a whole in a beautiful way. <laughs> okay. Um, adjacent possibilities. There's so many options. There is so many options. Walking away. Walking away. Appreciation. Interesting. She may be thinking about her self worth. And I'm not, I mean. I don't know. I don't know as far as males go yet how this 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 uh applies to you. You could be dealing with a woman who is thinking about walking away because she doesn't feel appreciated. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. She's looking she's looking for her counterpart, okay? So if you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who's thinking about the possibility. She's thinking about what door she wants to go through. She's thinking about walking away because she's looking for, you know, appreciation. I don't know. Maybe she's looking for balance and harmony, right? I mean, that's that's true because sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. It's about reevaluation. We do have somebody here that is reevaluating their partnership, okay? Two is their partnership. This is truth. Somebody is reevaluating their partnership. They're reevaluating the possibilities, and they're probably thinking about walking away because somebody doesn't appreciate them. Harvest time. There's that 11 right under the 11. So 11, 11. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking about a relationship. There's no doubt thinking about a partnership. Thinking about, you know, the rewards. Thinking about the bounty. Thinking about, you know... I want it all. I want it all. It 
Now, when I see a butterfly, I think a transformation. So we could have somebody here that is going through a transformation. Oh, contract. Now we have three sixes. Six, six, six. So six, six, six is get your life back on track. It's about choices. It's a time of reevaluation. It's the journey to balance and harmony. It's a spiritual wake up call. So we got somebody here that is going through an awakening in regards to, you know, partnership a contract i mean i can't it is what it is about balance and harmony when I mean, we have somebody here that is I, I want the perfect match somebody that the one that completes me oh here we go it is definitely the perfect match okay so he's thinking too. Perfect. I love it. So we have this, and I think, so these people are thinking about each other. Okay. Or and even if they don't know each other yet. Okay. Even if they haven't come together in this lifetime. Now we have, we do have a partnership here in which we got this one right here. Who's thinking about making an offer. He's thinking, he's wondering if he has enough to offer. He's thinking about the possibilities as well. He may be knowing that this person's going to walk away if he doesn't do something. I don't know. Fifth shock. This is communicate. This is, the, this is the communication, the throat shock. You know when I have to. And yesterday I didn't say it during the, the reading that I did. But when I had to clear my throat. This is ruled by Taurus. The throat chakra is ruled by Taurus. Which is me. But anyway, um, this is... Uh, the, the chakra of communication. So the, he may, he, you know, communication is needed. It is needed. The temple path. This is taking that path towards enlightenment. Somebody is thinking about going down the path less traveled. They really are. Somebody may be realizing that they have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Because threes are your prayers have been heard. These are both threes. One, This is a 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. This is a 3. Your prayers have been heard. Now there's an opportunity for, you know, growth, for change, to bring balance and harmony back to your life. I think with a perfect match, there's a perfect match here. There's an opportunity to receive a reward. This is reward. To have it all. If somebody can communicate, because that is communication. The fifth chakra is, I speak, I talk, I communicate the truth. So we definitely have somebody here that, two people, the male and the, and the female, that are thinking about the possibilities, you know, the possibilities of... Coming together, the possibilities of partnership, the possibilities of building a home together, I think. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. But we have somebody that is, is walking away. Somebody is walking away because of their lack of communication, the lack of appreciation. Deciding to go down a new path in search for the perfect partner because they want it all. I want it all. So male or female, we have somebody here that is probably finding the appreciation for another person after they have walked away. 
or they're finding their appreciation for themselves. This could be self-love, self-appreciation, self-respect. Somebody may be finding self-respect and self-love after walking away from somebody who can do nothing but think and can't take any action because we I mean that's what we got here I don't see anybody taking action other than walking away I see somebody walking away because there's too much thinking going on and no action so that could certainly be the case I feel like that could absolutely be the case somebody could be walking away from a partnership because I want balance, I want harmony, I want peace. There's multiple possibilities. There's so many options available to me. And if there's no communication, then it's time for me to go down a new path because I deserve to be appreciated. I mean, that's what we got here. I want it all. So I do feel like we have somebody that is headed down a new path. And they may be headed down this new path because somebody walked away from them. And they now they see and they appreciate it. They see that there's other possibilities. They see that there's other options. You know, they see that. They got this newfound appreciation for the person walking away because I understand that I have somebody that's perfect for me out there. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is seeing that there's a new option, there's a new possibility after somebody has walked away. That's what it looks like to me. This is, it is beautiful. It is, an, it is. I mean, it's harvest time. This is it. This is, this is a... A reward okay so I feel as though somebody has an opportunity to receive some sort of gift per se out of walking away and it does have to do with a partnership it definitely does I think there's a new contract that is going to be starting. I do. I think there's going to be a new contract that is going to be starting that is going to lead to... <laughs> I mean, this is a huge bounty. It is. With somebody that is perfect. I mean, this is a perfect match. But it's after somebody has walked away or you have walked away or whatever. This card is here. Somebody has walked away and it leads somebody down a new path towards a perfect match. I'm not kidding. A new contract. It's like the time is ripe. Right now, the time is, this is, it's ripe, it's ready. The time is now, it's, the time is ripe for you to, you know, unite with whoever this person is. So that's what I got, that's your bonus. I'm not going any further, but I feel like we have two people that are going to come together after somebody has walked away from a situation in which they probably weren't appreciated. And they have this newfound appreciation for themselves, which, you know, I think like calls in a soulmate. I, I really do. I mean, this is like a soulmate thing. Let's get some of these. Definitely. Communication could come in. Communication could come in that, you know, I'm ready to go down this path. I'm ready to be happy. I mean, that could be the case, may or may not be. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. We're going to get three of these. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Well, that resonates. I don't know. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I was going to say it, but I didn't. 
this this soulmate is not the who you think it is okay it's not they don't look like your usual match okay Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. Your soulmate does differ from the last one. Keep an open mind. There's, there's a possibility here for a new partnership after somebody finds the appreciation for who they are. You know, self-love, self-worth. Like I said, did I not say it? I believe I did. Somebody was ca been calling in their soulmate, and he here it is. I said, your prayers haven't been heard? Absolutely. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yes, they do. Somebody has called in a soulmate through pa prayers, affirmations, in visualizations they have so I hope this reading is for you good luck communication could come in today 